Okay, deep breath. There's lots of information to get through here, and I really didn't pay attention to the weather when I left. It is in the 30s, and I thought it was like more in the high 50s. <laughs> so I'm a little cold, but so I'm normally at least 10 days ahead of my schedule, like 10 to 14, 15 days. Um, time has not been on my side recently. Uh, today is Wednesday, and this is gonna post in two days, Friday. So here's what's happening. One, I am starting the day out in Hummelstown, just like I did the last time I went to Lewisburg. Then I'm going to make my way up to Lewisburg. Then I'm going to be home in time for my live sale with Vaughn. And that's really an ambitious plan. Um, but my days have not been lining up. Now, what's happening other than that is I have to get a bunch of stuff because I don't have enough stuff for my live sale, really. I mean, I could pull some stuff, but I'm also doing my first whatnot sale. And that is technically going to be on Friday, which is the day this is, um, March 10th. And that's going to be at 1 o'clock Eastern, uh, 10 a.m. Western. I always get the, the time <laughs> confused. Los Angeles, time, whatever, California. Um, so there's a lot going on. And like I said, today I'm looking for like a bunch of stuff. I'm going to try, like last time I went to Hummelstown, I got really lucky. I got a bunch of small little um, inexpensive items. I switched it up a lot. I'm trying to like repeat that and let's see if I can do it again. And then I'm going to head up to Lewisburg and fight traffic home. Totally chaotic plan. Uh, <laughs> but I am like expressoed up. <laughs> I'm ready to go. I'm probably going to be editing this and be like, oh my God, this is so chaotic. But uh, let's go in and warm up. This is kind of random. Poodle egg. <laughs> uh, not sure about that. That could go either way for me. Now it looks like it's more of the uh, rust and berries things that were here last time. What is this? Hmm. Twenty-four dollars. No. Um, this is uh, the Israeli pottery. That is. No, this is Italian. Just kidding. It looks very similar to the Israeli pottery I picked up last time from this booth, though. Um, here's the owl creamer. That's surprising that that's still there. $12. I'm leaving it there just because it's still there, which doesn't inspire much confidence. This looks very new, but I kind of like it. All right, let's see what else they got. Okay, but then there's like this. This looks like the, yes, Jerusalem. That is very cool. Uh, how much is this one? 16, I definitely can't do anything with that. That's about what I'd get for that after fees. It's about what I sold uh, the last one. What is this? That is very strange. Um, that's strange enough for me to, there's something kind of different about this. I kind of like it. Somebody's hopefully gonna tell me what this means, but uh, I definitely think there's something really unique about it. I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up. Ooh, and look, here's one of those, uh, brooches oh that one's twelve dollars i thought it said five i must have been looking at a different one yeah those metal floral uh, have been going really quick these are very cool hinge striped bangle neat like the green one how big are they they're kind of big though a little too bulky for me um but i'm not looking for myself let me not forget that i'm looking for my etsy shop and live sales so many things going on bunch of cute little Easter-esque trinkets here, but nothing's really popping out to me. This, uh, this room here, here usually has some different stuff. Hmm. I've been really into stuff like this recently, which is funny because I see it all the time, but for some reason it just seems more appealing than it used to, like out of nowhere. I'm not sure what that's about. These are cool too. And then I think I looked at these last time. Five, were they $5 each? Yeah, that's what it was. I thought they were neat, but um, a little bit more than I'd like to spend. All right, I need to move on because the last time I was here, I spent way too much time here and I am on a timetable for real, for real today. But also this, kind of like that, Italy, $6. That's not bad at all. 
these things out with Solo. I'm not sure. I feel like it could go either way. I could definitely make a couple bucks on it. Is that a hairline? Oh, hairline. Letting it go. Well, this color caught my eye. Oh, it's got some serious paint loss going on, though. It's kind of neat. Candle holder. Wish there was a pair or at least a little less paint missing. What's this ashtray? Dino's Den. <laughs> That's kind of neat. I used to pick up these uh, glass ashtrays all the time, especially for casinos. They used to sell kind of well, but they kind of died off, and I've been stuck with a few, so I'm not going to pick that up especially because they were all black, the ones that I had to. Let's see. I usually find really good stuff in this booth. Like, what's this little angel trinket? $5. Oh, it's kind of cute. And then what's this box? I guess it's a cigarette box because that's an ashtray at the bottom. It's kind of neat. $3. I kind of like that, honestly. It's only three bucks. I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. Why not? And here's this Wales Japan Cinderella. I think I must have looked at this last time. It's only six dollars, but it's got a couple nicks. What's up with these glasses? Green painted glass, six dollars, no discount. Uh, I don't think that's worth it for me. This one's kind of nice too. Six bucks each. Not bad, but I would want like maybe two of them at least. What's uh, what's going on with this vase that's kind of unique? This one's $8 with poppies. I kind of like that. I think, um, I think I'm going to get this. This is kind of outside of my wheelhouse, but it's a really unique shape and... That looks German for sure. And the poppies are nice. Yeah, why not? What's this one? Ooh. Now this one I really like. This one's in the pawn. That one's $16 though, no discount. I think I could still make money off that though, honestly. I don't know if I wanna spend $16 on it. It's kind of like a risk. Not really. There's no way I wouldn't get less than $16 for this. It's really nice the way it's folded in like that you know what why not I'm gonna do it this is this is uh I'm getting really outside of my wheelhouse right now and I'm really into it <laughs> no that's nothing okay so so far $30 worth of stuff in my basket um Limoges that's interesting $10 hmm I kind of like that not sure how well that would sell for me. I'm getting really, I have like barely been anywhere. What about this one? That one's got a cover on it. Um, I don't want to get too out of hand. The kind of like whole idea was that I was going to buy things that were less expensive so I could get more items, but that Nippon vase, I just kind of can't resist. It's kind of neat too. All right. Huh, I feel like there's a lot of stuff in here. And, um, every time I look around, I see something different. All right, what about in here? It's kind of nice, $4. I bought something like that uh, last time though, and it did not do well. It's still kind of sitting there. That's very strange, isn't it? Painted egg, $4. It's kind of neat. Again, I'm not sure how well that would sell for me though. So, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of second guessing this one. <sighs> yeah, I'm kind of second guessing it. I think I'm gonna put it back. All right, I made it to the second floor. Look at all this hobnail milk glass. Huh. I feel like there's a discount. Yes, 30%. All right, now we're talking. Let's see, this candy dish is awesome. It weighs a lot though. 20 bucks, that's not bad at all. Hmm. This, what about this one? This one's uh, 16. And then the Hazel Atlas. 
15. Oof. Even with 30%, that's too much for resale. I kind of like the hobnail, but there's not like a, the milk glass, but there's not a specific piece that kind of stands out to me, honestly. So I'm gonna keep looking. I normally knock on white milk glass, but I picked up a really nice set of hobnail white milk glass uh, tumblers last time I was here and they went pretty quick. Little hippo. <laughs> Ooh, here's one of those little trinket boxes. It's been a while since I had one of these. I like the green color. $7.50. 20% off. That's not bad. It's pretty common, though. So I've been kind of breezing through the second floor thus far. Um, I've really yet to see anything that really stands out to me. Um, I'm trying not to uh, get too out there because <laughs> this is only my first stop. Um, I've definitely been caffeinated, so there's a lot more things that usually catch my eye than normal, than catch my eye than normal. Oh my gosh, this is neat. I love these. Um, usually I pick them up and they're like religious themed. I'm not sure about that one. It's nice, but let me keep going. What is going on with the fish though? $9.00. Um, what? That's very cool. It definitely weighs a lot, so it costs a lot to ship, which I'm not a big fan of. It's kind of the one negative side of having a um, Etsy shop that ships free in the US. 35 and up, $9 though. I feel like there's probably supposed to be something in inside of it there, but it's so neat. Oh, this is like at least five pounds, so it's gonna cost a fortune if it goes to California. It's gonna eat into my profit. Last time I was here, I found some neat stuff in this booth. All right, what do we have here? There is a tag on it. So $12. Hmm, that's a really good price. I think this is Mount Washington, but I could be mistaken. Bacon. Hmm. And then this dish is pretty neat too. Eight dollars for Japan. Yeah, I'm kind of attracted to that green satin base, but I don't really want to pay twelve dollars for it. At least not this early in the day. This is kind of different. I've never seen one of these. Pyrex vintage baby bottle. Neat. Well, just when you thought I wasn't going to pick up any kitschy stuff this trip, you're mistaken. These beaded Dankins are so hard to find. And this one's in like pristine condition. It's only $10. I bought a pink one for myself that's been listed on my Etsy. Um, I bought it like three years ago for myself and it was not in this good condition, honestly. This one is amazing for $10. I'm definitely picking this up. It's even got its original heart collar. Love it. <laughs> but I'm also really into this like Yorkie picture back here. All right, let's see if I can reach this uh, Yorkie picture. <laughs> this thing's so funny. <laughs> I kind of love that and it's orange why not no I don't know how well it would sell ah I'm so on the fence about it all right I did put it back I just don't think it would sell for as much as I'd like it to oh my gosh if this freaking thing falls on me one more time <laughs> all right back to where I was little weird lion thing real fur cat oh I like the hobnail base but 15 sa. Uh, about retail on that. Hmm, I like the cat one too. Wait, what is, oh, I thought that was one thing. <laughs> it's not, I think that's probably Avon or something. It's got scent in it. It's pretty heavy. Hmm, cute. Hmm, not really seeing anything else in this booth. I think I'm gonna go ahead and move on, but wait, wait, did I speak too soon? What's this fish dish? Japan? That's unexpected. Well, that's very cool, isn't it? That's a lot older than I thought it was gonna be too. I like that it's got those uh, mosaic pieces in it. It is $5, right? Yeah, we're gonna get that too. 
this booth usually has really great prices. Uh, I went through a phase, like a very quick, short-lived phase where I thought I was gonna go to thrift stores more. Oh my gosh, that's really pretty. Um, there's no lid though. And then I came here and I was like, wait, the prices here are literally cheaper than the thrift store, except for this beautiful mesh purse, which is $40. Even that though is a really good price for that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. I don't know if I really want to ship this. $25. I this would probably sell for gosh. It's in pristine condition. I mean the lid's a little funky, but Man, that is really, this is upsetting to me. I wanna keep it, but I don't need it. Oh, I don't wanna spend $25 on it if I'm gonna ship it, cause I'm really nervous. Someone's gonna scream at me for putting that back, but I just, I'd rather that go to somebody who, uh, it's going to its final destination because that material is so easily cracked even with like the change in temperature and stuff. All right, well, maybe I can redeem myself over here. What's going on with the crackle that? Oh, as is. Dang, I was gonna say, I really like that blue. This one's cracked, not crackle, though. No. Uh, dang, I'm not really seeing another one that stands out as much as that vase. Well, this is a kind of neat vase. Jap what does that say? Japan, yeah. How much is it though? Ten dollars? Is there a discount? Eh, that's not. It's not ten dollar resale worthy to me personally. Um, nope, not what I thought it was. Okay, moving on. Left and rabbits. I'm only gonna pick these up if they're like disgustingly cheap. Ten? Nope. Ten? No. Yeah, ten each. That's a pass for me. Um, I don't sell them for that much just because they're so common. All right, one more floor to go. All right, I know these are new, but uh, this kind of stuff has really been standing out to me and I'm not really sure why. So I did Google them right quick. They're called, uh, they're my Milson and Lewis. I just think they're kind of neat, honestly, and they're only $3 each. Cats usually sell. I've been into this kind of whimsical look recently, even though they aren't vintage, which is kind of not really my thing. I'm gonna pick them up anyway, because I've been trying to branch out, and I just think they're fun. I also really like this. That is neat. It's metal, which is unexpected. I like the cutouts on it. $18 is uh, about retail on that for me at least, or at least what I get after fees. Let's see what else they got in here. What is, what is this? Uh oh, that's not what I thought it was. <laughs> I don't know what I thought it was, but it's definitely not that. Whoa, that's fantastic. Um, $18, I don't really wanna spend that much on that though. What about this? This is neat. She's got a really interesting look. Six dollars, it does, oh, as is, dang. I was gonna say it looks German almost. Yeah, it's got a bad crack on it, actually. Ooh, I am super into this ashtray. That is neat. Hmm. It's only nine dollars, too. This mid her booth always has such great stuff. Um, the glass here right now is out of control. And the mushroom napkin holder, 17. That's more than I'd like to spend. That's, I don't sell that stuff for that that much. The napkin holder is at least. Oh, I'm obsessed with this lusterware tray, $19. I bought, um, I bought a tray and it didn't sell very well. I, it was one I wanted to keep. If I bought this, I'd want to uh, definitely get it for less than 19 because that's a little close for me. I would be too tempted to keep it at that price. This booth, we got some really interesting stuff here last time. Oh, that's crazy cheap price for those, uh, what is it, Royal Copenhagen? 
I have not had much luck with those. I bought and sold them a couple times when I first started uh, selling. I'd gotten them at an auction. It did not sell for that much, honestly. So surprisingly, nothing really in there for me today. I'm gonna keep going. I keep forgetting it's only my first stop of the day. I couldn't help but notice these weird little mugs. Um, hmm. Usually you see these, these look different than, uh, Ooh, what's this one? Keep me nice and clean or I, but it's like a J. <laughs> we'll tell you what I've seen. That's really interesting. It's different. For three bucks, I think I'm gonna pick it up. I'm really into this like weirdo stuff, but I'm also super into this baby dish. It's probably expensive. $14, it's check. That is very cool. I think I could uh, make money off that still. Look at this one with the as is though. I will say I'm really into this, but it's a little bit more than I'd like to spend on that. Once again, I've managed to spend way too much time here. I'm kind of rounding the corner here to go to my last couple booths. Um, I found a bunch of stuff over here the last time that was really different and really well priced let's see if uh looks like they have been here since that is really pretty twelve dollars see that seems really cheap but it's not I'm not calling my name honestly there was like so much random stuff over here <laughs> this is kind of random is this from a salon or something what's going on here I can't believe this little vase is still here. I thought that was so sweet. It's $5. I kind of feel like I don't really want to leave it here again. But wait, what's going on here? There's all these owls? Whoa. Okay. Um, pick holder thing. I'm not sure what's going on there, actually. I've never seen one. The, the head detaches like that. Some Avon. What about the uh, napkin holder? three dollars now is the glass cracked normally the glass is cracked i'm not seeing any real damage for three dollars i'm gonna go ahead and uh, pick up the napkin holder there let's see what else they got this is um not what i thought it was what about this guy this one's only five dollars that's pretty cool i think i'm gonna put this one in my live sale tonight all right, what's going on here? $2, that is like 70s. That is pretty cool. I don't like the pattern on that. It's kind of retro. For two bucks, I'm gonna get that as well. Oh, it was this face I really liked. But that one was 10 if I remember correctly, which is definitely more than, yeah, more than I'd like to spend for resale. And a little bird wall pocket. It's not as defined as I'd like. What is up with this mug? Or it's a creamer, excuse me. It's kind of neat, Japan. $10 though, it's more than I'd like to spend for sure. It's, I'm probably about what I'd get for that after fees. And clear glass is not really my thing. This is pretty neat. Um, where was I going with that? Yeah, even though it's not my thing, that's only a dollar. It's kind of crazy. Can't believe that cat is still here. How much was that again? Oh, it's just got that damage in the face. Twenty-eight. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure if I can justify that with the damage on the face. What's up with the mermaid? That's a hobbyist one. Forty-six dollars, and she doesn't even have a good face. It's just a hobbyist piece. Uh. What about this? I love the things with the hands on them. Six dollars. Well, that's pretty cheap. It's kind of a pain to ship that though. Could definitely make money on it, but I'm not sure if I want to ship it is the question. Yeah, I'm gonna pass. Crazy, I know. I'm pretty happy with my selection, so I think we're gonna go ahead and check out and I will see you guys outside. Spent $56 in there, not bad. Now I'm off to Lewisburg. I will see you guys when I get to Roller Mill.